Match number four in the FFT Arena AI Tournament Season 3 is about to begin. And this time we have Malin on top and Red World on bottom. See, Malin has Malibu Monk, the Monk, Liquor Lancer, the Lancer, Drunken Dancer, the Dancer, and, Patron and Patroni Paladin, the Paladin. <coughs> to summarize this team very quick, this is a very, very physical heavy uh, team. Whether a um, monk with shuriken from the ninjutsu setup, martial arts, and warpath. Um, martial arts increases his punch art damage. Whether spin fist, repeating fist, um, wave fist, sigma magic chakra revive. PA save just makes his damage go even higher. As well as warpath that makes his damage go even higher as it increases his brave. 18 PA. Yeah, that's a lot. Especially coming from this monk. Um, that's it. Just raw damage. This is a sinning lancer with uh, maintenance. Interesting. I guess he doesn't want any of his equips broke. But nonetheless, 15 PA plus jump should do some decent damage. He also has bow song and life song. Uh, basically act as a... It can switch from support to um, range damage dealer if need be. Of course, Bao Song benefits everyone on Malin's team because they all rely on PA. Um, the Dancer with Chivalry for secondary also carries with Nismas and Poker Poker. Um, so she can either do damage from a distance or or wear them down or wear down to physical attackers with Poker Poker, taking away a point of their PA. Four, in 14 PA Grand Cross from the Ice Brand with attack up. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. If only she was able to equip a shield, but then again, that'd be pretty broken. <laughs> oh man, because you would have to confiscate attack up for equip shield if you want Ice Brand to do more damage. But nonetheless, still very good amount of damage this dancer's gonna do with those self healing grand crosses. Um, re raise obviously for not only the one turn use, but Angel Rain's also there to protect you from blind. Grand Cross can blind yourself, so this is really the only setup you can run. Uh, with a Grand Cross user. I mean, there is a Diamond Armor, sure, that protects you from blind. But that's really it. MP restores her. MP can go all the way back up. Should she get hit? And she can continue to spam Grand Cross. Like that a lot. And we also have a White Magic Paladin with Short Charge. Um, with Nurse, we raise... Raise 2. Protect 2. Shell Tune as soon Ah, very good. Uh, not really meant to do damage at all. With the exception, of course, of his Battle Axe. The Battle Axe can and and perhaps will trigger decap very deadly, especially if you couple that with a counter. Lots of evade on this Paladin. Lots of evade. Definitely overall, um, again, rather sturdy and very physical team that Malin's got forth here, which is the polar opposite that what Red World's got for us here. Uh, Aerith the Wizard, Serenity the Scholar, <laughs> makes me think of Serenity now. Rosario, the mediator, and Ch and Chile, the oracle. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Uh, if I did it wrong, I apologize. Um, this is basically a magic-oriented team. Everyone's heavy on MA. Um, for this wizard, uh, she has all the nether spells. And for some magic, she does carry Moogle, Fairy, Carbuncle, Odin, Cyclops, Zodiac. With magic attack up and 16 MA... She's going to do quite a bit of damage. Uh, Silk Robe, to, obviously, to provide her a decent amount of HP. Golden Hairpin, to boost damage done with Odin and Cyclops. Has Teleport, and count Counter Magic. Counter Magic can be a bit iffy at times, so just better be aware for that. Because you can be hit with a spell, and it's going to be that exact same spell the enemy can absorb. And you're accidentally healing them with Counter Magic, so just bear that in mind. Um, the Scholar here with Overwhelm, Absorb MP, interesting. Oh yeah, because when she gets healed from Moogle, she can get three of her MP back. Move HP up, bit of an odd choice on the Mage, but no matter. She has Reflect Rain to prevent Berserk, All and of course Initial Reflect. Robo Lords to prevent Silence, Green Beret for better move. Hmm. For the skills that she has, she has Mad Science, Bio 2, Cure 2 Raids, Asuna, Dia Holy. With Overwhelm, it should still do a decent chunk of damage. <coughs> Excuse me. Bio 2 is nice, so you can proc Frog. That can come out of nowhere at any time. 
this is purely a support mediator. Um, 54th Faith. I mean, I understand you're running best compat, so I guess I can still work out, but um, I'm a bit iffy about having 54th Faith on a best compat on a mediator that has best compat with three ladies, but still, guess we'll see. Um, move MP up, so he's a primary support unit with um, raise two, protect two, shell two. Um, also comes with for talk skill, blackmail, uh, de death sentence, refute, insult, and mimic Derivon. Uh, really the more used talk skills of anything else. Um, he's, he can absorb holy thanks to chameleon robe. Uh, so do expect some DA healing from this scholar. That would definitely be helpful. Defense drain to obviously prevent, uh, nasty status effects on this mediator. P bag for regen. Thief hat for more speed. So short charge, 10 speed, actually not a bad idea on a mediator anyways. And finally, an Oracle of Time Magic. Also has equipped shield for the Aegis shield. Dracula Mantle to again to prevent Berserk. So, pretty, so good enough evasion on this Oracle. Octagon Rod to uh, proc Frog. That can also come out of nowhere as well. Light Robe for Regen. Um, she carries Silent Song, Blind Rage, Paralyzed Sleep, Petrify. So she's very status heavy. As well as Haste 2, Slow 2, Sinkhole, and Balance. So Balance can come out of nowhere at any moment, especially with the Pilgrimage, where her chances of her hitting those spells are going to go even higher. Um, but still, overall, compared to Marlin's team, Red World is actually quite squishy. She's going to have to really rely on stacking as much damage as possible on these physical heavy units. The only one that might not get hit as often would be the Paladin because of his um, Escuchion Tuna Dracula Mantle, providing some decent magic evade. With that said, though... Let's get to the matchup. We're going to be going to map 20 uh, inside of Zoutania Castle. Not sure how Red World is going to do on a small map compared to Marlin, but we shall see how this plays out. Good luck to the both of you. Marlin's in the brown and Red World, well, is in the red. Duh. Rosario rushes forward first and goes for Mimic Dervon. Hits off the bat. Very nice. Monk's going to have to. Well, not going for a Sigma Magic. Instead, 3 and 3. Wave fist damage. Ouch. That mediator is gonna be going down actually. Yeah, rushing forward. He may have done the mimic Derivon, but I think unfortunately that mediator paid the price for it. The Paladin's now going to a prepare in Asuna. Moogle? It was too late though. It hit the wrong target. Now was nice because it's about to begin. Holy goes off, but gets blocked. Petrify goes off. Does not hit though. So Red World in some trouble early on. And wow, that monk just can't land those one hit KOs, but he does do a big chunk of damage. Lancer though will Yep, he's gonna be able to jump. Well but we'll be able to hit land before the raise hits. That's the question. And nurse doubling his evasion, at least for the moment. Skull does get healed in time. Here's the raise. Picks up the mediator. Paralyze goes off. Hits the dancer. <coughs> Alright, so Rosario will go for refute. Getting rid of regen and defending. Only 190 damage on that scholar. And ouch, spin fist. Knocking out that mediator once again. The Scholar is going to go for, let's be Cure 2, but I don't think that's going to go- Oh! It, maybe it will. Maybe it will. Pound's been looking for another Asuna. Give her the don't act. Here's a fairy. Oracle is charging at a- Ooh, Cure 2 hitting. For over 200! Very nice. Logs from MP and Auto Potion, as well as MP Restore. There's a Haste 2. Red World is trying to hold her own here. But against this many physical units. Oh, there's Auto Potion. The Oracle blocks Spin Fist. I don't know, with this many physical units, uh, it's going to be very hard for Red World to mount any kind of offense right now. Berserk, I don't know how good of an idea that honestly is. Death of his misses. The wizard's still in the middle of healing. 
and the scholars gonna be looking for a uh, holy. I don't. Nope. Not gonna go off. Yeah, I'm giving this round to Mullen because they just hit way too hard for Redwall to come back from right now. And Berserk and the Dancer just might make things go from bad to worse. Yeah, that Oracle's in critical right now. She is gonna go for balance though. Doesn't kill the Dancer, but she does um, get her MP back. Berserk Dancer actually moves in range for a show too. Show 2 is definitely going to reduce the damage that Red World could potentially do. And then there's very high damage shurikens. 108 to be exact. It would have been 144 um, if all four of them were the hit. But they didn't need to that time. Lancer will fly. Not a bad idea considering he can catch up to units that he would not have been able to previously. Mediator's desperate to go for the race too, but won't get that off thanks to Shuriken. Oracle is going to have to do something here. Down goes the Dancer, but she gets up from the race. And goes for the Iron Will. Red World is not looking very good at the moment right now. That Lancer can and will follow that Wizard. But the Fairy goes off first, actually. Bring back two units. But again, that Lancer could just cancel either Sandbag, and the Monk, yeah, the Monk could do the same thing. Repeating fits on the Oracle, bypassing whatever evasion she had. That Meteor is still trying though, trying to raise people, and that Wizard is just about out of MP. At least after this fairy, she might be out of MP. Raise who does connect one more time. Ah, uh, but Wave Fist puts her right down. Yep. Red World, you definitely struggle as best as you can, but Mon's gonna be taking round one here. Swing the miss. Repeating fist and a jump will definitely bypass the evasion. And there you go. Marlin takes round one. A good effort from Red World, but we'll see what happens in round two. Alright, round two is now about to begin as we are in map 109, Bridge. Uh, last match, Red World's team struggled and struggled as they were stuck in sandbag mode. And Mala just keep putting pressure on them. So with this being the larger map, we're going to see a Red World's team that, that is a little bit more spread out this time around. Can inflict some heavy damage. Mala's team right now preparing with Nysbis and Battle Song. And if Battlestone goes off on too many uh, the physical units, then Red World is once again in for a world of pain. Poison proc on only the wizard. Battlestone hits three people except for the monk. See, Wizards charge up um, another spell from the looks of things. While the Scholar, I believe, is charging up either a Holy or most likely a Holy. See, Rosario will have to go for a Regen here. At least just to get rid of the Poison proc. Lance wants to go for a pretty deadly jump. See, Holy goes off. Onto the Monk, triggering PA save. Protect 2, actually. Ooh, protecting for the Mediator, nice. Here comes Zodiac from the Wizard. Drops him. And thinks to protect you from the Mediator, the Wizard was just able to survive. But she won't survive this poison. The Oracle is going to be looking for perhaps a Paralyze. Not sure yet. Blackmail. Misses. Bad compad. There's a raise that just went off. The paladin will go for an axe shot. No decap rock. There's a sleep action from the Oracle, which actually connects. And ouch! 
277 damage on that mediator. That has to hurt really bad. Oracle though is going to be looking for a balance. And it will do more damage since she is poisoned right now. But the wizard will kill herself and her buddy Oracle for the Moogle. Red World's team getting back on the offense as best they can right now. And ouch! One hit KO Grand Cross. That cannot feel good. And a block from the Scholar. She's gonna go for one more raise. However, um, the Mediator may have already had his turn passed. And Paralyze hits the Lancer. The Wizard is gonna have to do something to back up the Scholar. And we are gonna see a suitor for the Paladin, stepping back for a little bit. Here's Zodiac. Hitting two units once again, there's a PA save. There's an Asuna. Give him the Don't Act and the Sleep. And a Holy from the Scholar, I'm not sure. A Petrified proc on the, on the Lancer, actually. Zara goes for a Death Sentence. Misses. Ouch. Iron Will from the Dancer. Haze is wearing off on everyone. The Lancer finally gets to be back in the action. KO's the Mediator. Holy goes off on the Monk. KO's him. Petrify goes off on the Lancer. Doesn't hit though. And once again, Mullen is in complete control. Red World on the run right now. Yeah, I do expect uh, Mullen to take this one once again. Redwell keeps trying, but I just don't think he can stand up to the physical hits very well. Can Aerith the, can Aerith the Wizard even... Nope, she can't nail the Moogle in time. The jump was about to right, come down at the right moment. There's a raise two on the Monk. And a holy on to the Paladin. Not quite sure if that's going to work or not. Line proc from the Wisnaisvis. Uh, I'm sorry, from the Grand Cross. Holy hits for 295 damage. Uh, Red World looks to be on her way. She manages to purchase a ticket to the Doom Train. That media is going to be crystallizing very, very soon. And looks like we can see a balance from the Oracle. 220 damage on the Lancer, but doesn't phase him as much. Wizard looking for one more Moogle, but that Lancer will not allow that to happen. Now the Mediator is gone. And there's only one unit left. And this is pretty much GG right now. Indeed, Malin wins. Red World, you definitely put up a good fight, but you're definitely going down to the nether nether's world. GG.